jump down this hole right here and see if I can't get a little bit of gold, find some color. Here's some gravel right there. Look at that. Looks like there is some black sand in this. We'll get some samples of this, some samples of that. We'll even get some samples of down in that. Man, it's like solid black. And the piece of gold is right there in that black sand. And there you have it. There is the gold. Welcome back to another adventure, miners, prospectors, and rock lovers. I am back in beautiful Colorado. We are at Cache Creek. And in this video, we're gonna go over the six steps into sampling when you're panning for gold. And also I have a new stream sluice. It's called a Keen Super Sluice. Get it set up and hopefully get quite a bit of gold. Okay, much better had to get my shades on. You know, I'm closer to the sun when you're at this altitude. We're at 10,000 feet. It's beginning of fall here in Colorado. The aspens are starting to change a golden color. Beautiful. It is October 1st and the mountains are starting to get a little frosty on top. Some of you may have watched the video where I found a, a little bit of gold in Texas at Ammonite Creek. That gave me gold fever. I had to make the drive and get up here to Colorado. I love coming up here. There's no other place in the United States that I'd rather be than right here in the Rocky Mountains. Gathering gold really helps me relax my mind and my body and soul. That's all you do is follow the road down the power lines and then just keep following it till you start seeing some campers and tents people walking around with sluices and gold pans and all this area right here is where we can prospect and dig around for some gold Okay, got the wagon loaded up, ready to go track down some gold ore, go over the six steps and when you're sample panning, and then I'll set up this new super sluice that I have. We'll take a better look at that. Got some buckets, brought my big scooper, a little spoon, and some water in case I get thirsty. I'm walking down one of these paths. There are several paths leading into Cat Creek. I just like to go down this one. Well, the roads are looking better now that they allowed wagon. Since uh, BLM allowed wagons, much easier to get around out here. Here is the war zone wow look at this place look at this place if you clicked on that card that showed up at the beginning of the video i was right over there in a vein and i almost got two and a half grams of gold such a fun day and as you can see there's all types of equipment laying around People go home for the day and they come back out here. Danger. Yeah, that's a tree root. I thought it was supposed to keep 15 feet from trees, but I don't know. Maybe that doesn't apply to everybody out here. Apparently not. Right now I'm just kind of prospecting and scouting things out and 
see if I can't find me a spot to dig my own hole. I have to find a place where nobody has been to. That's the hard part. Yeah, I don't know. That don't look very good. Well, I've scouted all these holes out. Looks like everybody's got that area claimed up pretty good. And that's just a broken down, ripped up tarp. I think I wanna jump down this hole right here and see if I can't get a little bit of gold, find some color. Looks like they've worked it out pretty good. Chased it out. Doesn't hurt to get back up in these spots right here. And here's some gravel right there. Look at that. I could work on this gravel layer, get some samples. Probably not a whole lot in this stuff. Looks like there is some black sand in this. We'll get some samples of this. We'll get some samples of that. We'll even get some samples of down in that. Lots of gravel to get yet. Only problem getting a little deep just the way I like it. All right, there's the hole we're going to be working in. Do some sampling run some material through the sloughs i've been walking around i'm wore out i've got to take a safety meeting guys i just can't go on and down in the hole i've got a basic size gold pan i believe it's like a 14 inch or a 13 inch it takes like 200 or 300 pans to get a whole yard sample so it would take quite a bit of pans to get a good sample you know a complete yard so what, what you want to do is find you a spot to get a sample i want to put my gold pan right up underneath this gravel layer and i'm just going to scrape my pickaxe like this and you see how the material just falls right into the pan and this layer is loaded with gravel and all types of rocks A little bit more. Ooh, looks like some black sand for sure. All right. That's about the amount I want to work. I didn't classify it, but I'm going to classify it by hand and I'll show you how to do that. So, step one is preparation getting your material that you're going to sample. All right, now that we have our Step one complete, I'll meet you all at the river and we'll complete the rest of the steps. Ah, even smells like gold. All right, we got a sample pan to go through the six steps. I already know there's gold here and I've got two buckets full of gold. and here is the sample i'll have to put all of this in the bucket it'll definitely fall out I'm trying to get down to the river get these buckets in there and get down to the river the creek let's get these buckets in and get down to the creek it's not a river this isn't cash river Not sure what happened here. Looks like somebody got mad and went home. But 
sure they'll be back if I got rained out. Had some rains this morning. Oh look, a contrail. All right, I got the buckets loaded in the wagon. We've got our test pan right there to go over the six steps on when you sample pan for gold. And I love the way this sluice has this handle. You can use that to lock it up at night or in your vehicle, run a cable through it and lock. And then it also keeps it secured on my wagon really well versus my gold hog. We're at the creek, Cash Creek, panning and sluicing only. When you get to this part, you've got to now do some scouting and see where you can set up your sluice because right here, somebody already has this taken and you don't want to just set up right there or even just right in between this one. That's too close. You need to have some space like they got a nice little space that's almost too close but I walked on down the creek man that's a big creek across so I came on down and I noticed this spot somebody was set up here but like I say that's almost too close to that guy or girl I think I want to come right here. I'm going to have to rearrange these rocks and get the right flow that I want for that sluice that I have. It could take me an hour. It could take me 10 minutes. I don't know. I'm not a professional at the gold mining. So that's kind of the rules when you're getting to your when it's time to set up your sluice, those are kind of the rules. Make sure you're not going to take over someone's spot and don't get too close to someone's sluice. There's plenty of space along the creek. It goes for miles. I don't think we can pan the sluice for miles down, but it goes for hundreds of yards down you can set up. So yeah, that's good. I'll be able to just Dang, that rock wasn't there. I can almost get my wagon up over this. <clears throat> that thing's probably five feet down, so I don't know why I even tried that. This one's probably a six footer. Unfortunately, I didn't get out here as early as I wanted to today, and the sun is about to. Well, I've got, you know, an hour maybe of sunlight. I love October. This is my favorite time of year. It's my favorite month. Uh, just the cooler weather in Texas. We've been all baking for months and months. And this is when it finally starts to cool off. When we get rain, our garden finally has food producing. We can eat. Oh, enough of that. Let's get these buckets and the panning steps completed. What kind of gold we've got that sluice i can just dump all this material on it i don't have to classify but i still believe in classifying it we've got the spoon here i'm just gonna shovel on just gonna shovel little by little let's see if the material Oh, it looks like the rocks are going right over the top. Hmm. Here's a really big rock. Let's see what happens to that big rock. Yeah, it's not set up right. I need to get this thing angled more. It's just not pushing my rocks down like I need to. And we'll never get gold like this. Look at all that black sand. There's an inside bend right here, so it's dropping out. Look at 
all that black sand. See how it's an inside bend. Some more. And then I'll just blow it out that way. Let's do this uh, panning real quick over the steps. I'm panning. There's a problem though. We need a nice deep pool. Here's a nice deep pool. You don't want a big current at all to mess you up. So yeah, we did the step one. That's getting your material preparation. Now it's step two, which is stratification. That's getting all the material wet and all your heavy minerals to the bottom by shaking it like this. That gets all the gold to the bottom. Like I said, I did not classify, so I have to classify this as we go. All right, so step two was stratification. Just get the material wet and do that right there. All right. Since we didn't classify, I'm going to have to add a step. It's getting all these big rocks off like this. It goes off like that. And then redo step two. That big rock. I'm down to the black sand, as you can see, the black sand is a lot. There's a lot down there. Man. Uh, step five is like inspection. You'll tap it like this, get all your gold in one spot. Well, we really need to get your material. Do a quick inspection. Is that right there? You just get it all spread out. See any gold yet? The rest of this lighter material off. We just turn your pan, get the material away from those ripples, bounce it real good. Get the lighter stuff out of there. And the six step inspection. Maybe a little speck of gold. I think we I see some gold, guys. We got a speck of gold right there. Right there. Yep, we have gold. There's probably more up panned it out pretty fast so the sample pan contains gold we definitely want to keep working that material working that material back and forth piece of gold and yep the piece of gold is floating because it got dried for that little second that's the piece floating right there let me tap it down and that may have been the mica here's the gold that was mica there's the piece of gold right there and the piece of gold is right there in that black sand. Very hard to see. That's gold. 
See how that sand's moving and that little yellow spot, it'll move when a lot of water will hit it. So you gotta be careful. I see some other pieces in there. So there's micro gold and that little fly poop. All right, we're on to the gold. Get the stream sluice set up tomorrow. I'm running out of time, I think, to get that set up. We'll have to find a better spot. Try to run some of that material. Yep, that is gold. Sample pen one. We got gold on our first sample pen. I would definitely work that material if you're finding even micro gold. It could lead to bigger pieces. It's time for a safety meeting. Oh, sorry about that. I forgot all the steps it takes to pan for gold. It's um, preparation, stratification, cleaning, washing, inspection, and I think you collect your gold. So, yeah, this is sorry for whoever this spot was. I messed it up. I'm a rookie. Oops. I want the littlest piece of gold. I'm gonna fill up my snuffer bottle. This will get that little piece of gold. All the gold we get, we'll put in here. And there's probably more gold. There's probably more gold in this. Right there it is. There's the gold. Let's, let's get that thing. I think we got it. Nope. It's right there. It's right there. That time we got it. And hopefully some other gold. <laughs> right. One little piece of gold. Time to head back to Texas. Alright, we're down in the hole. Day two. Brought some extra equipment. I've got my number four classifier that's the same top classifier that i use when i find diamonds and shark's teeth gold nuggets gemstones this was my very first set to ever make the ones that i offer are nothing like this and they're a lot lighter but anyways back to the point this will help me classify all this material that's chunky got lots of big rocks up in there we don't want to take those down to the creek so what I'm going to do is just work on breaking all this apart. And then also we'll go down in the cave and get some material. Alright, I basically just classified a whole bucket of material less than one minute. And I love these classifiers. Order yours today. Link in the description below. Whew, so much hard work. 
so what i'm doing is I'm breaking all this up letting it fall down here in this hole and then i'll scoop it up and classify it then we'll scoop this material up this is where our gold's at we'll go run this down in the creek through the stream sluice i am finding some amazing gravel guys check this out and it is loaded with gold oh this is just solid gravel and it came to a different type of gravel and it's real thin i got all that i could get I exposed this huge rock right here <clears throat> dang granite the gold is in the granite oh it's got some type of quartz inside that one that's what i'm doing i'm just working on breaking all this up it's like a, a dirt really sandy but there's gravel in it it could be gold in that and over here whole another ball game just solid gravel try to work about 10 buckets see what kind of gold we get and if you'd like to have some of this material so if you want to get a bag it's gonna be some good stuff coming up soon so if you like to get a bag of this concentrated material it'll be coming out soon and it's gonna be some good gold Time to get this material in the buckets and take it down the creek run it through the sluice get the gold it's that easy <sighs> all right i've been working in the cave let's get down in here and see what this material looks like <clears throat> really sandy i mean this stuff is really really small and compact tons of mica well I've worked all that right there I'm gonna scoop all that up classify it go get it worked I've been working on the material in the cave. Let's get down here and take a look. And you see all the gravel and all that black sand. They call it black sand. And right above that layer is the, what is that? Gold, oh my gosh. It says gold, what, what is this? Gold, clash. Guitar gold strike. Oh my gosh, what? Gold strike pay dirt, clutch guitars, half a gram guaranteed. Oh my gosh, what? This is laying down here. It'd be cool if there's some more. Oh my, there's another one. Oh, oh, two bags. Two bags of gold clutch dirt just sitting down here in this hole. Oh, oh there's another one. <laughs> what? That's a gram and a half of gold guaranteed. This is so crazy. Oh my gosh, is there any more? Nope, see I'm down at the hard pan. Wow, check this out. We've got gold guaranteed. You know what? I'm gonna add all of this gold to my pay dirt bags. 
Let's pan these bags out and see what type of gold we got from Mr. Clash Guitars on YouTube. So cool. Wow. Wasn't expecting that out of the whole my lucky day. We're going to pan out these bags of Clash Gold Strike Pay Dirt bags. And some of these could actually contain a gram of gold. So there could be three grams of gold just right here in these bags. And this bag of pay dirt you will receive when you sign up as a GPAA member, Gold Prospector Associations of America. This gives you access to gold claims all over the United States. And some instructions how to pan your gold. So we will also pan this out. See what kind of gold it feels like sand from like a sandbox versus this stuff it's got some chunky rocks in it maybe some gemstones hey no instructions thinking a little cheap on us of course you want to put a little bit of jet dry dishwashing soap wd-40 something that'll help keep your gold from floating because gold will float, especially when it's really small gold from Colorado. As soon as the pan stops spinning, it is time for a safety meeting. Okay, that's good enough. First off, it's best to classify the material. This is around a, oh, a number... I don't know, 10, just a little under a quarter inch. And that's perfect for what we're wanting to do. And see what Mr. Clutch has to offer. I don't see any gold just laying on top. Ooh, I see some gemstones. And some fluorite. always fun to see gold right off the start but nothing there you just pour your material right there on the classifier get a good shake there's no gold in there it's all out see any gold nuggets but I do see some gemstones look at that and here's one I'm not sure what these are looks like a piece of barite These kind of look like fluorite. They yeah, just want to give it a good shake. No gold on this classifier, which is a bummer. We will go through all this again. So for now, I need to find something to dump all of this in. Okay, I want to dump everything in over here. Bag number two. Ooh, it feels heavier. It feels heavy. Look at that gemstone. Amazing gemstones. Oh, whoa. We got a guitar pick signed by Clash himself. Awesome. Check that out. Now I just need to buy one of his guitars. I hope he makes a 12 string. That's what I would need. 
Wow, that could be an aqua. And once again, no gold nuggets on the top. So we'll go over all that again. Get the gemstones out. All right. And the last bag. Wow, I can't believe there were three. I can't believe there was three bags down in that cave. Incredible. Oh, another pick. All right, we got two guitar picks. All right. Guitar pick number two. Okay, got some gemstones. And once again, not seeing any gold. And when you're using these type of classifiers, you can notice that there's material between this wire mesh and this plastic. So you're going to make sure you get all of that right there between the metal and the plastic. There could be gold right there. And to do that, you just want to pick up on this plastic. You just want to push up on the metal from the bottom. Kind of give all that a tap. And angle, angle it over your pan. You don't want to lose anything. And then you should have all the material. You can see now all that is gone. It's all in my pan. Alright, no pickers in that upper material. Well, here is all the material from the Klesh pay dirt bags. Go ahead and get this liquefied. That's all you want to do is kind of get all that material wet. Make sure it's all wet. And angle your pan a little bit. Help get the gold to stop in these cavities of your pan. That'll collect the gold. The slower you can pan, the more gold you will recover. But some material, you don't really have to take that much time panning. Like this material here, I don't have to take as much time as I would with the material that I offer from Colorado. Because my material has not been searched through like this material. This is all material that has been searched through. And he makes the bags up and he knows exactly how much gold he's putting in the bags. My material is all virgin material that I offer. You could get five grams of gold in my bags. You could get one speck of gold in my bags. I don't know. I did not look through them. I did not add the material. I will be adding gold to my bags of Colorado pay dirt. The gold that we will be receiving right here in this pan i'm going to add it to my pay dirt bags a good tap and right there you can see some gold look at all that gold that's all gold right there all of that is gold well let's get a little more out of there we've got a little bit of material we don't want so let's do this one more time Get some of that out of there. Look at all of that gold. All right, spin the pan around. Get this gold. I don't think we got the bag with the one grams. But you never know until you get it fully panned out. Get 
give that a good tap. Yep, trying to see gold fall down. We don't want to lose the gold. Okay, the gold is starting to show up right there. Lots of micro gold falling, but I can't collect the micro gold. And there you have it. There is the gold from Clash on YouTube. If you're not subscribed to Clash on YouTube, go check out his videos. He offers educational videos adventures from all around the world it's just a fun channel to go watch and follow you don't know where clutch will end up next all right check out that gold now i see some pickers in there like that one right there i could pick that up look at that i can pick it up oh i love that sound so we've got some nice chunky gold and all this gold I'll be adding to my pay dirts of gold that will be available through the link in the description below. I got my snuffer bottle. Let's get this gold. A little bit more right there. Alright, looks like we got all the gold. We've got all the gold here. It doesn't hurt to re pan this. Not really pan it, just redo this final step. Bounce it all. I'm gonna do it really fast though. Look at that huge piece of gold I missed, guys. Look at that. That's why you want to redo it. Look at that. Look at that huge piece of gold. It's almost a picker that I left. That is, I can pick this up. Huge piece of wire gold. Look at that. That's why you want to rework your material. Yeah, it's a picker. Crazy. We'll put this picker in here. All right, it's in there. Cool, 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 cool. All right, let's check out this larger material that did not fall through the classifier. There could be a gold picker on here easily. The gold has definitely gotten smaller from my last bags that I found of clash I got some nice almost nuggets out of the first bag that I found laying on the ground out at Cash Creek it's like he just goes out there and throws them bags on the ground or something I don't know okay not seeing a gold nugget there. It's a bummer. Now it's time to pan out this material that I received when I got my GPAA membership. And it looks like, uh, like play sand. Nice and dusty. We won't classify that because they don't need to be classified. You can see how it's really fine. All right, that looks pretty good right there. 
Hmm. A little bit of gold, nothing like Clash offers. Yep, there's some gold. Right there's the gold. Right there. All right, more gold. Adding to the pay dirt bags. Now it's time to get all the gold on a scale. But right there's the gold. Let's get that up on the let's get that weight up along with the clash. See what the total amount of gold is going to be from these bags of pay dirt. Here's all the material that I have to bag up. That's what you'll be getting. There's a lot of it. One of these bags is around a bucket and a half. And then from those bags, it comes to these bags. There's around two and a half pounds of virgin diamond ore loaded with gemstones like no other pay dirt bags on the market. Click on the link in the description below. Order your bags today. And these bags right here are the ones that I'll be adding the gold that we recovered in this video. So as soon as you see this video, these bags will be ready to purchase. Finally, the moment we've been waiting for is to see how much gold we recovered. I'm gonna pour all the gold into this pan, let it dry, then I'll work on removing what black sand is left and iron, other rocks. Get those out, get those separated from the gold, and we'll jump over to the scale and weigh it out. Okay, all the gold seems to be out of the bottle. Some gold up here not wanting to fall down. Right, there's the gold a bit of black sand mixed in with it so we're gonna work on getting out so now I just like to angle my pan let all this gold up here dry and then I'll be able to just pick it right up with my fingers place it on here and you throw that on there Okay, I got all of the black sand separated from the gold. Now I just need to let it sit and dry. There's other ways to speed up that method, but I have other things I need to take care of. So I'll come back in a couple of hours. And this gold should be ready to just dump onto my little tray. And then we'll weigh it up. And then from there, we'll put a little bit of gold in each bag of pay dirt that I offer. Each bag already contains gold, but I like to know that there's just a little more gold added to each bag. And the gold appears to be fully dried. Now it's time to get this on the scale. How much gold do you think is there? I'm going to guess two grams. Maybe two and a half grams. We've got some pickers in there. Okay, 
Okay, let's go ahead and put this on so we can tear at that. All right, now it's time to get this gold, get a final weigh in. Oh, we're almost to one gram. There's one gram of gold. And we've got two grams of gold, barely, from the Clash guitars. Should be a gram and a half. I had three bags. I had a bag of GPAA dirt added to this that had at least a quarter gram of gold. And I even added gold to this. You can't guarantee that I'll be adding this gold into each and every one of these little bags. I don't know how much. Every bag could have a little more than the other. I'm just sprinkling some in here. That way we are guaranteed. Ooh, that one just got a nice picker. So I'm adding some gold to all of my pay dirt bags. And like I say, it's not a guaranteed. But we have definitely added over half of that into those bags right there. Well, looks like I have my work cut out for me. It's time to start opening these bags and filling them up and getting the material into the smaller bags. That way you guys can experience real virgin material, not something these YouTubers are making. This is real deal, right from the ground. And I'm the only one that seems to be offering it this way. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, take care, everybody.